Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the uh, advances that have been made in the uh, form of dual booting, allowing Windows Mobile users to also run Android on their Windows Mobile phones. Um, in this demonstration, I'm using a HTC Touch Pro 2, uh, branded by AT&T as the Tilt 2. Um, as we right here is just the basic uh, Windows Mobile 6.5.3 ROM. This is actually an Energy ROM uh, with Sense 2.5, cooked by a well-known chef over at XDA that goes by NRGZ28. And uh, so we're not going to spend any time in this because we want to see Android, obviously. So let me just reboot the phone here. And what they've done is they've actually made it so that you can at the time of booting choose between the two operating systems Windows Mobile or Android and I just want to make it clear that none of this work was done by me um, props need to go to the XDA Android team that was responsible for the Android release uh, XDA member YOZGATG I can't say that so I'll just spell it out who created the CAD file that allows for the, the, the dual boot screen and the creators of H-A-R-E-T, which is the executable that allows the shutdown of Windows Mobile and allows us to boot into Android. So those three guys together you know, did all this work. I'm just showcasing it on the phone to just show what it can do. And so as the phone boots into Windows Mobile, there's actually some registry edits that allow the dual boot screen comes in first. And so it's auto-booting to Windows, but obviously if you want it to hit Android, and so now it's it's loading that XQ I told you about before. Mm -hmm. And this process takes a little bit of time. Here's your, your Linux boot screen. And then here we um, come into the loading screen that you've seen on the Nexus One. And you know this version of uh, of Android that's able to run on these Windows mobile phones is not you know, 100% functional for date for everyday use. Um, you can make phone calls, you can do email, you can text, uh, you can browse the internet, you can even use Marketplace. But um, there's still a few things that aren't quite there yet. But it's 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 come a very long way in just a few months, and so I'm sure, given more time, it'll it'll iron the kinks out, and these guys will get everything um, up running to 100%, which would be awesome for for uh, Windows Mobile users who want to use both operating systems on the same phone. Um, as of right now, the things I know that don't work properly, um, Wi-Fi doesn't work, uh, nor does Bluetooth, but I've yet to find really anything else that uh, that's really holding me back from, from playing with it too much. Okay, so right here we have the, um, you know, the home screen. I currently have a animated background with a little Starfield going just for some cool effect, but uh, pretty basic. Oops. Well, now you'll see a lock screen since I didn't touch it long enough. <laughs> There's the lock screen for Android and open it just like normal. So again, home screen. Um, I've just put a few little little widgets on there, phone ca contacts, browser messaging, some quick contacts, clock, a little counter app, Google search. Nothing too special there. Uh, the menu works just like it on any other handset. Not quite as smooth. I don't think OpenGL is enabled on this, but uh, it's still very usable. So I can go over to the other panel here, YouTube, music, you know, some other little shortcuts here we've had on there. And then as well as on this side, same type of thing, Facebook, some power control stuff, marketplace maps, settings apps. But uh, also the notifications do work just fine. I don't currently have any in here, but uh, it works just like it does normally. And let me go ahead and show you the marketplace. Uh, marketplace does work just fine on this, on this particular version of uh, this Android build. And I've already downloaded probably four or five apps from it just to test it out, and it, they uh, they work just fine. So, as you can see, there's your marketplace, and the keyboard also works just fine. You can use the hardware keyboard from the Touch Pro 2, but I can also click on here and bring up the software keyboard, and uh, you know it works well. So, there's that. So let's go back to the uh, the main page here, and I'll show you the browser. The browser works pretty well too. Um, this particular build does have 3G as well. Um, okay, so here's the browser, and uh, by default, the home page is, is the mobile view of, uh, of Google. Um, let's go ahead and pop over to an actual web page here. Uh, let's hit up XDA Developers. And again, it works just like it 
it would a normal handset, just double tap to zoom in. And you can pan around, double tap again to zoom back out. So, you know, very functional. Um, but that's about it for... So back to the home screen. Um, in addition, obviously the phone, the phone application does work. Uh, if I were to dial my wife here, it comes up and you, hit, you can hit call mobile. Um, other option is, you know, from the, you can go from the phone dial there. The hotkeys, the hardware buttons also work, so I can click the the phone button there, and it will bring up the di the dialing options again, um, as well as the Windows key works as the menu button. Uh, the back button also works when you're whether you're browsing or whether you're in an application that goes back to the to the home page. So again, that's the demonstration. Um, of of the ability to dual boot to Android using a Windows Mobile handset. Um, I believe after reading through some of the material you can do this on a variety of HTC handsets including the Touch Pro, uh, Touch Pro 2, I think the H Touch HD as well as the HD2 if I'm not mistaken, mistaken but I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, links on the on the description of this video for anyone that wants to give this a shot. Again I'm I'm currently going to stick with Windows Mobile <laughs> For, for daily use. Um, I'm very happy with the uh, ROM I've been using from NRGZ28. Uh, one of the chefs over at XDA, he makes some pretty sweet ROMs. But it is fun to be able to do boot to a different uh, operating system and just play around, around with it, especially when you can use the same hardware to do so. So anyone who wants to give it a shot, um, have at it and enjoy.